Hello everyone, welcome to Beta Creations. Today I am going to say very brief uh, about helical antenna. So what is a helical antenna? It is a popular, simple and practical electromagnetic radiator. So what it is? Popular, simple and practical electromagnetic radiator. It's a very practical electromagnetic radiator. Here as you can see, you know what's a helix is, right? This is how a helix is. So, so how a helix is formed, you know that when a wire is wound in the form of a screw thread forming a helix. You know how a screw thread is, right? So when a wire wound in the form of a screw thread forming a helix, we get a helical antenna. Helix, you see this, there will be a flat surface helix is used with a flat surface. Helix is used with a ground plane, sorry, this is a ground plane which is a flat surface whose diameter is 3 lambda by 4, okay, helix used with the ground plane in a flat surface the diameter is 3 lambda by 4 now connected to the center uh, this is a flat surface and this helix is connected to the center of the conductor see here in the ground plane you can see a conductor over there and it's the helix is connected to the center of the conductor where is the helix connected to? the helix is connected to the center of the conductor and the center of the conductor is uh, here is a coaxial transmission line which is a feed here, this is the feed over here okay you know what the feed is? The, the antenna is connected to the feed. Feed is the one which provides the uh, signals to the antenna. So the, from the helix antenna you can see a ground plane which is a flat surface whose diameter is 3 lambda by 4 and the helical antenna is connected to the center of the conductor and the conductor is a coaxial transmission line which is the feed. Okay, uh, feed point with outer conductor attached to ground plane see the out this is the outer part of the con uh, see outer part of the conductor is attached to the ground plane while the inner part of the conductor is attached to the coaxial transmission line which is a feed point now see, look at the diagram of the helix this is the diagram of the helix the length of the antenna see not this length the com when the helix is wound like this the length of the antenna is l okay this is the length of the antenna the length of the antenna is l the diameter of each ring of the helix is D. Diameter is capital D of the each ring is D. The thickness of the helix is represented as 2A. What, what children? 2A. So diameter of the helix is D. The thickness of the helix is 2A. The length is L. And the length of each turn. See, from here to here, one turn. This is not represented as L0. From here to here is L0 and from this point it goes like this, like this. From here to here is the another L0. And the, distir and the distance between two winds or two rings, two, ring two winds uh, is S. Okay, the distance between two winds are S. I hope that is clear. Now, listen children, listen carefully. Right now, I am considering this loop. This one loop, this, uh, its length is one wound uh, coil, its length is L0, from here to also L0, now I consider this L0, the distance here and here is same and it is S, thickness is 2A, now I am shaping this in the form of a triangle, in form of what? I am now shaping this uh, ring, helical ring, in shape of a triangle just like this, to get the angle, that's what I am doing, so to get the alpha, to get the angle uh, I'm, is the uh, reason I am uh, constructing this. Uh, because it is difficult to analyze from the ring okay you know that it is since it doesn't have a proper shape no proper edges it is difficult to uh, consider uh, 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 angle from it so let's modify it to the shape of a triangle so this s comes here l naught is the distance circumference you know that it's a diameter right so what's the circumference of a one ring it's in form of a circle so c is equal to 2 pi r 2R means diameter, 2 twice the radius is diameter, so C is equal to pi D, right children? So what is L0? See, it's we are drawing a right angle triangle, alpha here, right angle here. So what's L0? What's hypotenuse? Pythagoras theorem, L0 is equal to C root of, L0 is equal to root of C square plus S square, right? L0 square equal to C square plus S square, so L0 is equal to root of C square plus S square. So now C I can substitute, what circumference is what? Uh, two, 2 pi r or pi d so I'm substituting pi into d diameter so root of pi d whole square plus s, s square yeah you got it now what's the angle alpha what is tan alpha 
here is a 90 degree tan alpha so it comes like this right so what is it what is it it's perpendicular by base and it's 90 degree over here alpha here right you should not mistake it okay this is always s by pi d s comes first okay s class comes first uh, s by pi d so tan alpha is equal to s by pi d so tan alpha is equal to s by pi d then what is alpha alpha is equal to tan inverse s by pi d tan comes here right when tan goes there what happens tan becomes inverse so tan alpha is equal to s by pi d alpha is equal to tan inverse s by pi d and pi d is what circumference so i am writing as s by c you can write either as s by pi d or s by c now to the next point total length this is very important derivation okay total length of antenna total length of antenna l is what number of turns into s yes, right just look how many turns are there and uh, then let's calculate with it into s then you'll get total length of the antenna total length of any number of turns into Yes, you will get the total length of the antenna L. Now, total length of the wire LN is what is uh, N into L0. Number of turns into L0, you will get the total length of the wire. Which L0 we obtained from the equation. What we got from the L0? L0 is equal to root of pi d square plus s square. So, substitute that over here. So, you will get uh, uh, N into root of s square plus c, uh, c square. Pi d is in c. So, s square plus c square. We know that c is equal to pi d, we can substitute if we want. So what's alpha? Alpha is the pitch angle. We obtained alpha, okay. Why did we uh, consider right triangle triangle to get the alpha which is the pitch angle? So now the case, now we are going to the case one. So first, uh, so there are three cases, okay. Pitch angle, alpha, pitch angle, there are three cases. One, alpha equal to zero. Second one, alpha is equal to 90. And the third one is, what if alpha comes between 0 and 90? So alpha equal to 0, alpha equal to 90. The third case is alpha lies between 0 and 90. Now let's go to the case 1. Now alpha equal to 0. What happens when alpha equal to 0? Helix reduces to a loop antenna of n turns. When alpha equal to 0, helix reduces to a loop antenna. There will be an antenna of many loops. Okay. Helix just like this. Helix reduces to a loop antenna of n turns. Now what if alpha equal to 90, helix um, re reduces to a linear wire. See? This is alpha equal to 0, which what, listen to this, this is the equation when alpha is equal to 0. So what happened, helix reduces to various loops of antenna of n turns. The second one, alpha equal to 90 degree. What happens when alpha equal to 90 degree, helix reduces to a, this, uh, this is helix right, it comes straight line. Okay, when what, alpha equal to 90, 90, 90 means straight line, uh, reduces to a wire of straight line wire. Now the third condition. Uh, the alpha lies between 0 and 90 degree. What happens then? We get a true helix. That means circumference will be greater than 0 but less than a loop. Only one, almost, almost one loop will be there. Okay, almost one loop will be there. So when alpha equal to 0, there will be many loops. When alpha equal to 90 degree, one straight line we will get. And when alpha lies between 0 and 90, we will get a true helix. What do we mean by true helix children? Circumference greater than 0, yeah. See, the circumference of a circle, is a, uh, it cannot be zero, it will be a dot. So, circumference is greater than a circle, but less than a loop. You won't get a complete loop, okay? You will get something like this. Circumference greater than a zero, but less than a loop. That what, uh, less than a loop. That what happened uh, when the alpha lies between zero and 90. Now, the antenna can be classified into two modes. Which antenna? Helix antenna can be classified into two modes. Normal mode, which is also called broadside mode. Don't uh, confuse it this, okay? Just think about EA sports. EA, N fire axial, okay? N fire mode is axial mode and normal mode, NB, uh, a normal uh, mode is broadside mode. So normal mode is broad, normal is broad, normal uh, mode is broadside mode and N fire is axial mode. So first we can uh, uh, talk about normal mode, normal, no, uh, uh, normal mode is broadside mode, okay. Um, here, the field radiated is normal to helix axis, okay, that means this is the field, okay, the field radiated, this is the field I am radiating, this is the major lobe, is normal to the helix axis. The field radiated is normal to, this is the axis of helix and the field radiated is normal, which means 90 degree to the helix axis, the field, ra the field radiated 
this is the field is normal to helix axis what is the second point dimension of helix is small when compared to the wavelength uh, as here the, that's another uh, the problem is dimension of the helix is very small when compared to the wavelength is used now let's move to the n fire n, n fire mode array uh, practical it's a practical mode of operation ea ea, EA sports n fire mode is axial mode it is a practical mode of operation better circular polarization over uh, or wider bandwidth see i forgot to tell you earlier that helix has circular polarization and it's easy to remember okay just look you can see lot of circles right just thing like that so helix is having circular polarization and uh, and this is practical mode of operation better circular polarization remember it's having lot of circles circular polarization uh, or wider bandwidth uh, 2 is to 1 and is more efficient okay and we are using ea sports more than uh, nb okay normal mode uh, broadside we are using n fire axial mode okay we are using this uh, practical mode of operation better circular polarization it is it is more effective this is more practical it is better circular polarization wider bandwidth it is more efficient okay and see its circumference it must be between 3 by 4 and 4 by 3 just inverse 3 comes first you write 1 2 3 4 so 3 4 and here it comes ulta uh, just opposite in uh, 4 by 3 here it's 3 by 4 here comes 4 by 3 and between here c by lambda c by lambda is equal to 1 okay so i am just telling in the uh, last minute exam point of view if unfortunately you have missed uh, looking uh, helix uh, helical antenna and you just want to know the basics and this fast steps i hope this video will be benefit for you thank you